What is the bare minimum of skills required in order to make your own video game by yourself? Today, I'll go over each of the skills you'll need to make your first game and how you can start learning them. I'll break them down into three sections, the fundamental section, art stuff section, and stuff you probably don't want to do, but have to do anyway section. Now, I should also say I'm no professional or anything. I'm still actually a beginner, but I'm just putting everything that I've learned so far just to kind of help you skip a little bit of that pain process that I went through. And this is on the pain. Let's start with the fundamental. Fundamentals. The first skill you will need is understanding your engine. Unreal Engine or Unity or whatever you decide to use. If you are brand new to making games, the hardest part is actually understanding how to use the engine itself. If you think about it, these engines have the capability to literally do everything from animation to lighting to fundamentally making the game itself. So it can be very overwhelming at first, but the best thing you can do is to just jump in and start trying to make something. It doesn't have to be a AAA title, but you won't learn anything thing unless you actually go through the pain of figuring things out yourself. If you are an Unreal Engine user, I suggest going through this video by Unreal Sensei. It's long, but just do an hour or so per day and it will give you enough insight to start creating on your own. After that, I highly recommend just trying to figure out things by yourself because if you just follow the tutorial step by step, you're not going to retain the information very well and truly understand how things work. So I suggest watching a tutorial first, but to to see what they are doing. Then try recreating it by yourself, only referencing the material when you get, well, really stuck. The next skill I want to quickly touch on is coding. Now, these days, you don't even actually need to know coding to make a video game. In fact, if you are using Unreal when just starting, I wouldn't even bother learning code because honestly, there is so much you have to learn that adding code into the mix is just going to overwhelm you, burn yourself out, and sometimes make you give up entirely. Trust, I know from experience my little boo hammers. However, depending on your game, it may be necessary to learn C++ or C Sharp eventually. For example, if you're trying to make a FPS multiplayer game, there are some things that have to be done in code to optimize for latency purposes. But if you are making a single player game with lower fidelity or nothing too crazy, then blueprints will be all you need. With that said, blueprints will help you to get a pretty good understanding of how coding works. Since it's literally based on that. So I suggest starting with blueprints to help you get a foundational understanding of coding fundamentals, such as variables and functions and whatnot. Then when you're feeling confident and comfortable with blueprints, then you can take a month or two to learn the fundamentals fully in actual C++ coding. I'll put a link to the Chernos course, which I found to be really helpful with this step, but the main things you really need to understand when it comes to coding are variables, functions, header files, conditions, if statements, control flow, pointers, references, classes, enums, constructors, inheritance, visibility, and arrays. Pretty much in that order. If you've all the Ternos playlist, then you don't really have anything to worry about as far as the order goes. Just watch and try to understand up to the video number 30 and you will be good, I promise. P.S. Do not try learning Unreal and coding at the same time. Do one or the other first. I promise if you do both, it will be an extremely quick way to burn yourself out. All right, with those out of the way, let's talk about the art stuff. Now, let me prep this with something. You don't have to know any of the art stuff to make your own game. Both Unity and Unreal have marketplaces where you can buy or even get many assets for free. These include anything from 3D models to VFX to sounds and animations. I'll show you where to find some of this stuff for free as we go through each section, but just know that can get a lot, and I mean a lot of assets for free. More than enough to not have to actually spend money to make your game, or at the very least, spend very little money. However, keep in mind, many other indie devs will be doing the same thing, meaning using these assets will make your game less unique and some people will even give you crap for not making everything by yourself which imagine eating crayons while giving someone who makes an entire game by themselves crap for not making everything from scratch seriously go fart on yourself and to those of you who are doing this alone don't feel bad for using free assets also there are ways that you can get creative and change those assets to make them more unique so if you want some tips on how to do that make sure to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if this this video gets enough likes, I'll make a video on how to do just that. Plus, I'll love you forever. So art stuff. First up is 3D modeling. Here is my first 3D model head I sculpted, my first gun, and my first elf boy. They're not that great. 
but you know, I was proud of myself, all right? The head and the gun I did completely from scratch using Blender, which I highly recommend for your 3D modeling as it's free. However, I want to point out that my little elf boy here, I actually got this model completely for free. It was just a basic male body, but then I went into the sculpting tool and wiggled his anatomy around to make him into a more stylized type of thing, which that is one tip to take note of. Create a baseline of the art stuff or find one for free, then alter it from there. I promise this will save you a tremendous amount of time compared to always starting from scratch with every single thing that you do. Here are a few sites where you can actually find some free 3D models. Also, just a quick side note, if you do decide to use Blender, the Blender Marketplace has tons of assets and useful plugins to help you speed up the workflow. All right, next up is texturing. Let me start by saying I hate this part. It sucks. I still don't understand it fully, but at least there are a lot of free textures that you can use for objects. Now, when it comes to your characters, though, you will need to make a realistic looking base using noise maps and multiple layers of stuff. Again, it sucks. Clearly, I hate it. Some people love it and can actually make an entire career out of it. N not me. That's not me. No. no. Now, for objects, I really recommend watching this video. But when it comes to skin, try to create a base. Then just know that you will then need to paint some more detail on to make it more realistic. Things like shadows and changes to the skin tone, scars, blemishes, all of which can be done within Blender. Okay, next up is rigging. In order to make your characters move, they need to be rigged with a skeleton. You can't move without a skelly baby. Now this part also kind of sucks and can be overwhelming, but there are tools to help you out there. There are things like auto rig, which is about 40 bucks, but easier to use. Then there's Rigify, which is free with Blender, but complicated and I don't understand it. And then there's Mixmo's tool, which is both free and easy, but it's a bit more limiting. You get the idea. You get what you pay for pretty much. But before you go spending money, I'd recommend trying out the Mixmo and Cascaders, Cascaders option first. If it just ain't working, then maybe you do a little bit more research and see if auto rig is the play for you. Which by the way, I'm still very new to rigging. So what I ended up doing was actually just using Mr. Mannequin's tools, which I will also link in the description below to actually do my animation, which comes with the Unreal Mannequin already rigged up and good to go and that way I can just import it into Unreal and then when it's time for me to put it onto my actual character I'll just retarget that stuff onto my character or something at least that's the plan we're, we're not there yet but we're getting there we're getting there now the next skill you are going to need is animating now this one is a little up for debate I but I truly think animations can make or break a game in many cases maybe not all cases but many cases luckily there is a free resource of animations to help you get started and Mixamo is a website that allows you to literally download animations, apply it to your character, then move on with your life. It's it's beautiful. It's amazing. You will still need to make blend spaces so that your animations blend together. But yeah, you can find a ton of animations on this site for free. You can even use some of the character models. You can also buy animations on the marketplace for pretty cheap, all things considered. So do you really need animation as a skill? No, I don't really think you do. But it also depends on the scope of your game. And if you are willing to fork out a little bit of cash, if the scope is large, Larger. Otherwise, if you do need more custom animations, then I suggest using Cascador to make them. It's going to be way easier than using Blender, and it's just so much easier to understand for a beginner. Also, watch this video about principles of animations. You'll thank your wiggly boy Johnny later. Okay, the next few things I'm going to sort of breeze through because if you're like me and got clinically diagnosed ADHD, you're probably dying to click off the damn video. Even I'm dying to click off the damn video, and I'm not even watching it. So first, we got VFX. You can find assets in the marketplace for relatively cheap five to thirty ish bucks just kind of depending on what you're looking for but you can make your own using niagara particle system as well photoshop is another skill you will need or some sort of graphic design mainly so you can create custom ui elements like health bars and whatnot it's actually very easy to do probably even get away with using paint but probably not a good idea but this is also can be helpful for making icons for some of you out there you can actually buy relatively cheap icons on the marketplace or this website called the noun project i guess i guess Next, we got sound design. It is It is a massively important one as it is one of the main things driving the factors of feedback. If your sound design sucks, 
your combat and reward system will suffer tremendously. Still figuring this one out, honestly, but you can Google to find sounds for free, take those sounds and put them together to make new sounds. Or if you spend $20, you can get basically every sound you could ever need with this ultimate SFX packs in the Unreal Marketplace. Also, if you need free sounds, you can make a free trial account with Splice and they will give you credits and you can use those to download SFX. And now it can be a little bit hard to find the exact ones you want there, but there are a a lot of SFX available there. Next we got level design and also lighting. These are both skills you will need as well. For level design, I recommend you try gray boxing first before adding any polishing details like light or textures and whatnot. As for lighting, well, honestly, I haven't even got there yet, but things like exposure, bloom, and post-process volumes play a big role into the overall feel and the polish of your game. Enemy design, which is super, super important because having a wider variety of enemies with different abilities and behavior plays massively into how repetitive your game feels, so enemy design is another skill that you need. And you will also need skills outside of making the game itself, things like social media and video editing. This is so you can successfully promote the game in an effective manner, and if you are trying to release a game and make money for it, this type of marketing is basically a must. So knowing how to make videos, GIFs, and other bite-sized content to promote your game will be huge. Now, the absolute most important skill you need to have is perseverance. You need to stay motivated and be able to stick to learning each and every skill, even when you feel like giving up. And this is insanely difficult to do, but if you click this video here, you'll get a little bit of advice on how to do exactly that. Okay, love you, bye.